today from r slash just no mother-in-law mother-in-law thinks she can dictate the amount of time other family members get to spend with my baby my husband and i live 2,000 miles from our families and we typically alternate whose family we visit each summer because they are spread out over three states and to see everyone in one visit would require a ridiculous amount of driving on our part we have a two-month-old baby and booked flights to my hometown so our families could meet the baby after he had his two-month shots. We chose it because it's the most central location with an airport. We will stay with my mom for two nights and during that time, my friends can also come visit. Then we will be at an Airbnb for three nights so my dad and siblings and grandmother, three hour drive, my husband's grandparents, two hour drive, and my husband's parents and maybe one of his brothers, five hour drive, can come visit over the weekend as they are able. We plan this trip around one weekend each summer that my in-laws close their business so they wouldn't have to lose revenue to see the baby. We also informed everyone that I was pregnant that anyone who wanted to meet the baby this summer would have to be vaccinated and there would be no further discussion. My mother-in-law and I used to have a decent relationship but since I got pregnant and had the baby, we have barely spoken. She has been snarky and rude to my husband when he declines unsolicited parenting and childcare advice and has become increasingly close to full-fledged just no. Last night out of the blue, my husband received the following text from his mom. We will have the entire weekend with you guys. We're driving twice as far as their family. It's a day trip back and forth for them. End of conversation. He's an absolute champ and handled her beautifully. Letting her know that she absolutely would not be speaking to him that way, would not be dictating anything about our trip, and she needs to watch out before she further damages her relationship with him. She of course played the victim, talking about how it was her summer with us that she was conceding, and how I spend more time with my family and she misses us too. In the six years since we moved away, they have never come to visit us. They just expect us to spend our time and money on flights and boarding our dogs to see them. She would be so selfish to deny our baby what could very well be the only opportunity to meet their grandparents on both sides who are in their 80s and in poor health. And she thinks she gets to decide how long and when everyone else spends with the baby. That my 85 year old grandma who has had two strokes only gets to spend a couple hours with her great grandchild before they turn around and drive three hours to get home? It took everything in me not to call her myself, but I'm glad husband was able to handle the situation so well, and we are 100% on the same page. She better get it together between now and August, or she will not be told the address to our Airbnb.